everybody, and welcome to a robust Wild Ride with Steve-O. This week, we've got the new Jackass star, Zach Zackass Holmes. He's on tour with me doing comedy. He's killing it at comedy, and I suggested a joke for him, one that I heard from Scott Randolph. Now, the joke goes like this. What is the difference between jam and jelly? Well, I can't jelly my dick down. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I, I mean, you get the idea. But the point being, if I take a blue chew tablet, I can jam my wiener wherever I want because it's hard as a rock. Yeah, that's right. That's why blue chew tablets are so much fun. I'm telling you, man. And if you go to bluechew.com and use the promo code Stevo, you could get an entire month's supply of blue chew tablets completely for free. All you gotta pay is five bucks for shipping. It's that simple, baby. They love the listeners with the Wild Ride podcast so much. Plus, what makes it even easier, you get your prescription all dialed in right on the website, bluechew.com. You consult with one of their medical providers. Do it in no time flat. Boom. Promo code Stevo. An entire month's supply of Blue Chew tablets are on the way to you. All you got to pay is five bucks for shipping. Come on. And if you're wondering... Are blue chew tablets a lot of fun? <laughs> Let me confirm, they are a whole lot of fun. Whole lot more fun than jelly, that's for sure. Now, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for Zach Ass, and let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, Zach Holmes, a.k.a. Zach Ass. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> yeah, dude. It's been a long time uh, that we've been waiting to get you on. Yeah, your schedule has just been too busy to make it happen. <laughs> we've uh, we've been on tour. <laughs> we've uh, we finally got you. Here we are. Thank you for having me. Yeah, and we're in Arlington, Texas, where you are going to be my opener tonight. Super stoked on that. It's going to yep. be fun. I think we can safely say that of all the Jackass cast members, other than me, you've put the most effort into developing a comedy act. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's something I really want. Sorry, <laughs> Rachel. Yeah, no, Rachel. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, definitely uh, something I really want to do. You know, I want to, like, I'm just trying to transition more into comedy stuff in general than, like, even with skits and stuff, too, not just, like, in comedic acting and not just, like, hurting myself like doing stuff oh yeah, yeah. weird well, let's say not only stand-up but extracurricular filming too zach stays pretty busy filming stunts and yeah i mean i've been saying that to you for years yeah, now. yeah. like uh you know we want to wrap some like crazy gnarly stunt like just kind of fill it out with some comedy yeah i remember being really stoked when uh when I think I flew you out to yeah. do the the cactus stunt. Yeah. And uh, and I was like, you see Zach rolling into this cactus patch is super gnarly, but we're gonna make it like kind of funny by saying that oh Zach's gonna jump over the whole thing. <laughs> we built a ramp that was just it was stupid, but it was funny. <laughs> yeah. And, no, and you so measured funny. it. And you <laughs> <know> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, and we remember we got Tony Hawk to, to, to Tony Hawk is the coolest dude, man. He's just down for whatever. Yeah. Hey Tony, dude, I got my this guy Zach you've never heard of, and he's gonna go <laughs> crash into some cactus. Can you tell him like, oh dude, you're gonna air over it? That's right. That was the first time you guys met when we flew him out to your house, right? Yeah. After yeah. and you saw him from the the firecracker video, the firecracker vest. I yeah. saw him from the firecracker vest, and what was crazy was that when he, when when Zach blew himself up with the firecracker vest, he was wearing an XYZ hat, which was my first ever sponsor. And uh, that was just a weird connection. Hmm. I remember I saw the firecracker vest for the first time because Tommy Lee posted it. Oh, Tommy really? Lee from Molly <laughs> Crew. So Tommy Lee, uh, you know, it was how I saw you for the first time. And then <laughs> I... 
I, and then, yeah, and then we, we got you out there, but, um. How long had that video been out before Steve reached out to you? Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't think it was that long. It went pretty viral, like, um, like right off the bat. On Instagram? Yeah, on Instagram and YouTube at the time, too. Um, yeah, it, it just, and I, I had been talking with, with Tommy from XYZ for a while before that, because he was just sending me merch to wear, like, in all the videos. It was pretty cool. Yeah, dude, super rad. It is very similar uh, in that respect to how I got started. It was from Tommy sending me stuff from XYZ. Yeah, I saw, like, some... So I saw this <laughs> documentary, uh, I think it's All This Mayhem or something. And right, they're, right. they're talking about XYZ a lot. And then I saw a video of you talking about how, like, XYZ, like, helped you, like, start yeah. out. And then I was just like, shit, like, that's really cool. And, like, I didn't really think anything else of it. But then, like one day, they reach like the XYZ page to reshare one of my videos, and then I reached, and they reached out, and then it was just so hit. cool, man, <laughs> yeah. dude. It, it, it becomes even more clear that like uh, XYZ played a major <laughs> role in both of us getting our start. So I fly you out to to do the cactus thing. Yeah. Have you have you seen my new book and and I have not yet. I haven't I haven't got to I have had a couple of people tell me about it. I've had a few comments on Instagram saying how much they liked that that part of the book. Yeah, I mean I told you about it, right? I didn't, yeah, you told me about it. I just haven't read it. Right, okay, yeah. good, good. Because I got pretty graphic. <laughs> I got pretty graphic about how here, you know, you were this crazy guy. I just had to meet you. You know, I, I, I set it up as, the, as the, the context being that in general, I've not been really uh, supportive or, you know, not that I'm a hater, but like copycat stunt people, mm -hmm. like just doesn't turn me on. You know, like yeah. I'm not, there's not really been like a, a copycat crew that, that I, that I, re that I got behind, you know? Yeah. Like it was, it was, it was you were the exception to the rule and, yeah. and that was because what i saw you do was just so gnarly it was so like there was just something about it i was like i gotta meet this guy so i fly, <laughs> i fly you out i send you into this fucking cactus and then like almost as soon as you're you're out of the cactus with with like hundreds maybe thousands of cact <laughs> cactus needles all over your body yeah then I'm just like, oh my god, this guy's gonna get fucking staph infection. He's like the the most unhealthy fucking guy. I I I I, I, I extended your trip. I brought you to the fucking urgent care. So like, dude, help this guy. And and they weren't even concerned about the the needles all over you. They were concerned about how sunburned you were. <laughs> I know. But so I was just like, oh my. Shoot? Yeah, I, I was like, were? I had like sun poisoning or something. They said they gave me like a steroid for my sunburn, and they were just like, yeah, the needles will come out with the antibiotics over time, and you'll just have to pull them out. Like we can't do that. Like we're not gonna pull them out. Dude, I had like a team of fucking body waxers come over to the house and fucking like waxing his skin, hoping that the wax would pull out the fucking needles. Oh, like I was, I was starting to freak out. Like, <laughs> and, uh, and 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 so we're driving home from the the urgent care, and, and I'm and and all of a sudden I'm just like, yo, dude, Zach, like, you know, you you should start taking care of yourself, dude. You know, like you, I'm, I'm like you. uh you know like and and then and then i take it like another step further i'm like dude the whole world loves uh a fucking transformation they love like like if you were to like get healthy like lose weight like the whole thing then it would be like a whole other level of, of opportunity for you you wouldn't be like in you know the, the the narrow pool of people who want to see like dudes fuck themselves up like that would open you up to like Ellen DeGeneres style shit like look at this guy he changed himself and I was like let me fucking help you get healthy let's bring you bring you out here so we make this whole plan to fly Zach out and actually move him to California to try to help him get healthy I buy him a fucking car <laughs> like a used car with we're, dri yeah. <laughs> we're yeah. driving off this fucking used car lot and Zach's just blowing through red lights <laughs> and it turns out oh my god 
this kid's a fucking hardcore drug addict. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because he was running through red lights, or what? How it, did that come about? It was like I wasn't even really like high. Like when I came, I guess, <laughs> dude, I'm, I'm fine. Okay, I'm totally fine. <laughs> Also, I've not had a lot of driving experience at all, like, just in general. Like, no one ever taught me how to fucking drive, like, like growing up. That never fucking happened. So, I am a shitty driver. No no question. But how'd asked. you pass the fucking... I don't know. I, well, I did. You passed, right? Yeah, I passed. I passed in Indiana. <laughs> Like, wait, wait, so, so, so... I he, mean, dude, you were blowing through... I was so like, nervous, was, like, it, driving you, too, because I was, like, I don't know, it was super, like, early, like... It was like, like, like Mr. Magoo, dude. <laughs> it was like Mr. Magoo, like, you just go through red lights, and there's a car, like, and... <laughs> but how did the conversation the come up to where, like, he was a bad driver to, like, bridging the gap of he's on drugs? Like, it, like, it just became, like, it became... That was, like, the first thing. Was oh my god! Like what's going on with this kid? I did you not see that it was a fucking red light? You just blew right through yeah, it. Steve's telling you you're a bad driver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I mean, when, like however it became clear, it became really fucking clear. <laughs> like uh, that what he's on drugs? That he was on drugs, and that, that we had. And I remember thinking because because our buddy Tommy's a big recovery guy. Like we're all in recovery. And, and when it came to our attention, oh, Zach's got a problem with drugs, then all of a sudden we thought, oh, well, we're, we're way better suited to help him with that. So we, like, started trying to help you with that. Yeah. And yeah. that didn't go very well at first. No, it didn't. Well, because he oh. picked up skateboarding. Was yeah. That- <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I started skating. <laughs> he started and skating was, at, the re- at the Sober Living. I was really stoked on that. Um yeah, I was skating, and then, like, I was, like, it was kind of cool, just, see, like, I was, like, dro- like, I was able to drop in, I was doing some other stuff, and then one of my friends was, like, oh, you should do this rolling grind, but I can't, like, ollie, so, like, there's no way I was gonna get off safely, he thought I would just be able to, like, s- somehow ride off of it, and I just ride down, and I fall, like, two times before, and he's, like, just try one more time, and, uh, we try it. I go again and I fall off weird and my I land like all my weight on my right leg like falling backwards, leg leg just snaps in half. It was it was the gnarliest break ever. I, I hate seeing footage like that. I'm so happy it was on video though. At least right. like it was that, it was your leg. Yeah, it was my like tip fib like break. The- yeah. Tib fib. Yeah. Because both bones snapped. Yeah, both. Like, and it wasn't even just like one little break. Like it was like broke then like under it broke so it was like there was like a little middle piece it was just there on each leg i mean on each uh bone tip him i remember feeling responsible for that shit too i was just like jesus well that was definitely me (laughs) and then and the thing was too that we like you know we 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 put you in a sober living like a halfway house and, and we're paying for it and it was like okay zach you know like we're all about recovery and like in hindsight It was so silly. I'll tell you what's really silly is not capitalizing on the opportunity to make money from e-commerce, baby. Like I do when I be slinging my autographed skateboards at stevo.com. You know how I sling these boards? Well, I use ShipStation. What's that? It's your e-commerce hub for all your shipping needs. Whether you're shipping from Etsy or Amazon, your own website, Shopify, you name it, all of it. It's all at ShipStation. And in one easy to use interface, it brings in all of your carriers, your United States Post Office, your UPS, FedEx. Plus it gives you the best rates that you can get, rates that are normally reserved for Fortune 500 companies. Plus you're gonna get that automatically and what's even better if you go to shipstation.com click the microphone in the top right hand corner plug in the promo code stevo you're off to the races with a 60 day free trial period that's 60 days two months of hassle-free stress-free ship station baby and with this holiday ship storm of e-commerce going on, man, 
ShipStation is saving the day for everybody like me who's killing it at e-commerce. So stop blowing it. If you got a New Year's resolution, let it be that you're going to start crushing it with e-commerce by going to ShipStation.com. Click that microphone in the top right, plug in the promo code Stevo, and you are off to the races. It's time to make ship happen this year, baby. Now let's get back to it. To, to expect that we could just like push you into that you know like if, if i like in hindsight if i think about it from zach's perspective it's like oh you know like it, it's always been you know my dream to like be like that you know the, the a jackass guy now i've got like the guy from jackass like of course you're gonna tell us everything that we want to hear you know yeah. of course it was like we were dangling a carrot and uh you know and and, and of, of course you were going to try to pretend that everything, but you just didn't have it in you at that time. No, I wasn't like really ready like to like get better, you know, at that time. But like looking back, like if, if that wouldn't have happened, like I wouldn't have like, I wouldn't have, I probably wouldn't be sober right now. Like, cause I wouldn't even, have, I wouldn't even have known about that stuff or like how to even like fix that, you know? Right. The seed was planted. Yeah. It, it definitely helped me. Like, in the end, you know? Right. And then in my book, I talk about how, like, it, you know, you weren't ready. But then all of a sudden, like, sometime later, uh, you just got it on your own. The seed had been planted, and then the seed, you know, the, yeah. it, 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 the, the plant grew. And, uh, and, and you were doing so great with everything. And then at a certain point, it became well. I mean, then then Jack, you you were doing great when you yeah. filmed the movie. Yeah, it was great during the movie. Um, but then after like the movie was like done and everything, I started like I don't know something like things just like I just I, 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 know, <laughs> I know you drifted away. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember telling you I was like, dude, like you know yeah. we got we got to kind of stay involved in all in all of this mm -hmm. stuff, and you were like. Just kind of gradually just drifting away and not paying attention to protecting mm -hmm. your, your sobriety. But, I mean, it's got to be tough being on a number one hit movie. Like, how intoxicating was that for you, being on a red carpet? Like, whoa, everybody knows who I am now? I mean, did everybody know who you were beforehand? Or I mean, the movie some, just... somewhat, but, like, because I'm, I'm just somewhat, like, I'm sort of recognizable to begin with. But, I mean, the movie has helped so much, you know? Like, it's, it's opened up so much for me. I mean, dude, Zach was recognizable as fuck off the back of just the firecracker vest and then the cactus video mm -hmm. i mean dude that cactus video got hundreds of millions That's of true. views yeah like i like that that cactus video made you oh. super recognizable yeah it did it, uh, that was like that helped so fucking much yeah i mean it's pretty crazy how uh how, how that happened and then um i mean i don't know like of course the jackass movie is a big deal too but um, the, as far as it's got to be tough staying sober when you're in a number one movie, I mean, dude, like, so it's like my guy always said to me, there's only one book. There's no special edition for special people. Yeah, yeah, you know, you're, like not, the, you're not special. <laughs> right, the, the disease of alcoholism and addiction does not discriminate, yeah. does not discriminate and neither does recovery. Yeah. So, uh I mean, it's it, it's crazy. It it so, so after the movie happened, or after the movie came out, what happened? Um, I sort of like just well, I sort of just was in a bad spot and like didn't like I wasn't like I made like some other like show for like a little bit with Vinny. That was the fail. fail yeah, army. the fail army thing. I did that. I did a few other things. You know, I ended up doing Shark Week. Um. There was just like a bunch of like there was a bunch of things here and there, but like I, I didn't really like. I was just in a bad spot, like because I was because I was using, you know, I wasn't really like capitalizing on like, oh, I should be like striking while the iron's hot right now, you know what I mean? Like, and yeah, everything just got sort of gnarly for me. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you remember when we uh, <laughs> I pulled, <asked> that. <laughs> pulled the the intervention on you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I remember that. You, 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 you talked a pretty good game. I was like... We showed up at your crib. 
<laughs> at, at your, your pad. <laughs> like, like, we showed up, like, practically moments before the eviction notice showed up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, like and uh, we were there waiting to ambush you when you got home from something or other. We're like, hey, Zach, dude, like, you know, we're, we're worried about you. and We want to um, offer for you <laughs> yeah. to get, you know, to, to get help and, and, and make it completely free for you. And you're like, no, I'm fine, dude. dude. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Okay? <laughs> like, seriously, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Like, it did. He was kind of convincing for him. I believe. I believed you. That was cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's like when you're doing that, and and you come up on somebody that's on drugs, and they're like convincing, but like your spider set. It's like a weird thing because you're like. You sound convincing, but like everything in my gut is just being like, this fucking guy's lying, dude. Dude, he, you, he, I say you talked a good game. It went, it was, it was, it was. Well, then I was like, okay, so, so, <laughs> so you mean to tell us that like if we leave here, you don't have, if we go in your house right now, there's no drugs inside. And then when you totally looked away from us and you're like, yeah, you could totally do that. It's fine. I was like, all right, dude. It was just. Well, they book. weren't in the house. They were in my pocket. <laughs> 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 you're like, so I wasn't lying. Right. But, uh, you know, and, and, uh, and, and there was just no getting through to you. Like, dude, I'm totally fine. I'm totally fine. It was like, okay, man, you know. And then, uh, to your credit, not too long after, you reached out and said, hey, man, is that offer still good? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, man, that, that's awesome, dude. I, I'm, I'm super, super glad. What made you call? Well, I mean, like, after you guys showed up, like, it was, like, stuck in my head, like, maybe I really fucking do need to, like, go fucking, like, get this shit figured out, you know? Turned like, out you needed it pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, like, it was just, like, how long can I, you know, keep doing this for, you know? And, uh... Well, how yes, bad was it when we showed up? Dude, it was bad. It was, it was pretty bad. I mean, it was pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. It, it, was, it was, it was really, really bad. And, um... Did it and and it's so cool because I uh, you know ha had some people who I know. There was one guy who had offered a scholarship to to me for somebody, and I was like, man, this is the scholarship. That dude came through with like I think it was like sixty, seventy thousand dollars worth of uh, free treatment. I mean, dude, that was yeah. <laughs> and then and then and then uh, continued to with aftercare. All I had to pay for was the detox. I paid thank for the you. Uber. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, thanks, Scott. I yeah. mean, medical detox is no joke either, dude. You know, like. Uh, Did you detox pretty good? I mean, it was it was fine. Yeah, I mean, like it was good that I was. If I wouldn't have had like the, if I wouldn't have been able to go to the detox. It would have fucking sucked, like so bad. It was opiates. Well, I mean, dude, if you yeah. like, no, yeah. no rehab is gonna take somebody in who's not been properly yeah, yeah. medically detoxed. Yeah. Because then when you die in their care, they get sued. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, what, if for the, those kind of detoxes, it just depends on the drug of choice, and then they give you some sort of muscle relaxant for the week, and yeah, what do it, they do? It just like depends. Like mine was, it was for opiates, benzos, and uh, <laughs> and says. and cocaine, and like. And stuff like that. Um, yeah, so they... That, that was like three days before you said you were fine? Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm totally fine, okay? Just pale white? Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, there's like literally nothing wrong. <laughs> Good. I felt fine. <laughs> So uh, so that so you detox for like a week and then you got right into the, the yeah treatment. yeah I did, then I did that stuff and you know did you you detox did you detox I was in um yeah I, I was I was in a detox I, I don't know that I was like was it like a what do they call that medically induced detox or no nothing like that nothing like that I, I mean the, the the rehab I went had a detox in it so it wasn't like I went to a detox and then a rehab it was just all built into one place because that's like if, if you're like a hardcore drinker you want to detox somebody so they don't like convulse and like have sure. a seizure yeah and then for for opiates you don't want like the withdrawal process and you don't want to I mean it's a medical deal yeah. You know, like a de the, the, the detox we sent Zach to is basically like a hospital. 
there's a there's doctors there like me yeah. you know yeah. like um and so what's life like now after um i mean things are looking so much fucking better for me honestly yeah um yeah and i just i don't know i feel like i get i don't know i have like the want and like the will like i don't know i want to do shit like, i want to like get out there and like make shit happen you know like yeah. I just feel like so much better, like overall. I mean, you've always had that. Yeah, but know? I mean, like, like you've always been motivated. You've always been wanting to uh, be successful, and and you've always been teachable. Like, um, so I I think I, I see good things for you. If you just like I've always said, if you make recovery your number one priority, your only yeah. priority, yeah. everything else will just come together. Yeah, you know? everything else doesn't even need. Mm-hmm. You just, just just worry about about being in recovery. Yeah. Uh, so tell us uh, about the movie that you just did. Are you um, allowed to? I don't even know if I can. It, it's like I, okay, I, I, I can say some movie, of, big time movie star. I can say that's some. All it wasn't. I'm not even like a huge part in. It. If I would have known about it earlier or had like a talent manager or something, I would have like or like an agent. I would have auditioned for like a way bigger part. But it was about the '80s punk scene. So I was in the Bay Area just filming this uh, this. Be, like, pretty much, that's why I have like face piercings right now and like oh, stuff yeah, like that. Dude, I noticed that. I thought yeah. that was just your deal. No, I had a septum piercing too, but it fell out. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. so, so you got face piercings for a movie role, <laughs> and you're just stoked on your rocking it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much. I think yeah, I'm down with it. Yeah. Did you have a talking part? Um, I was like I I was like around like most of like the main characters, and I had, there were some fight scenes and stuff. That's cool. cool. And nice. then, then, you, and then you got another project going on, but you can't really talk about it. So you got shit going down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I just did like a voice for a cartoon, and then like I, uh, I'm I'm gonna make a movie next year. I got cast in a couple other things too, so that's cool. I'm like trying to start acting more, um, and just and mainly like acting, doing stand up, writing that kind of stuff. Cool, man. Yeah. Um, and. Uh, so going back to when the movie came out. Yeah. Like, um, were you crushing some beef? <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. You weren't? I was not. Um, but, but now, like, uh, you've, 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 you've got, I, I, Vinny told me that you're in a new relationship with, like, a really cool chick. Who's, yeah, yeah. Like, who's, like, super hot. Too. Yeah, I have a new girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she's pretty cool. Her name's Noel. Um, she does stand up and stuff too. Yeah. She's uh, is is she a normie? Yeah. Okay, normie. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a- good, man. Every person we've had on from the movie, I want to talk about the uh, the Science of the Lambs bit. Oh yeah. Yeah. How was that for you? That was fucking terrifying. There could not be a better jackass bit to test what your heart rate actually got to and you gotta know there's no better way to test your heart rate than with the whoop strap yeah whoop strap the most sophisticated fitness device known to man in the history of the world it tells you everything that's going on with your body how much you're working out how much you're you're resting every stage of sleep like when you do work out how much of that workout was spent in your high heart rate zone like how many calories you're burning i'm telling you i love my whoop strap so much and how many people have we heard on this podcast talk about how much they love it i mean dude all of the fighters all of the podcasters all everybody it's amazing and you should try it especially because now they've got the whoop band 4.0 which comes with the waterproof charger that slides right on you never have to take it off you just slide on your charger if you accidentally get in the shower no big deal because it's waterproof and if you go to whoop.com and just do your thing when you check out you plug in the promo code stevo 15 percent off your membership it's so killer man i mean it's definitely worth a shot and it's definitely at whoop.com so get on there and find out what's going on with your body Man, I wish Zach would have been wearing a whoop band back then. But you know what? I, I've got some plans to do some pretty hellacious stuff myself with my whoop band. 
So we'll see what happens. We're going to get insights into terror. But let's get back to it. Yeah, it was it was scary. Like, um... Cause like you're, an, you're the only one who thought there was actually a rattlesnake there. Yeah, I was. Um, well, because there, initially there was a rattlesnake in the room, um, but then they like they whatever the animal handler guy was like took it out. You know, because Jeff, Jeff was being so nice to me that day, and I should have known, like that it like something was about to happen. And he's he was just being really nice and stuff. And then he's like, oh. Um, He's like, yeah, we need to change your shirt. Like, so I was wearing like a black shirt or something. We need more more color, like in the scene. So I go change my shirt, and then I come in, and you know they shut the door on Poopies and I, and you know it would just goes pitch black. It it was fucking terrifying. How long were you in there for? I don't know. Like it felt like for it felt like an eternity. <laughs> um, but it was just I guess it was probably like a few minutes. Um, but they're like fucking with us, like tasing us and stuff, and then. I, like, before this all, too, like, they're telling us what would happen, like, if you got bit by a rattlesnake, you know? <laughs> and my anxiety is, like, going through the roof, just because I'm, like, medical stuff is, like, the one thing that'll, like, make me have a fucking panic attack. And heights. I, yeah, and heights. Yeah, heights, too. Um, <laughs> so, they're, like, telling us all, like, how your heart will start racing and all this shit, and, like, how you'll end up, like, having a heart attack and dying, like, if you don't get the anti-venom soon enough. And... They, like, I guess it was, like, Knoxville or someone comes up to me and puts, like, something out. It felt like something bit me. I, I, I have no clue what the fuck it was. And then, and I'm thinking it's the snake. Because they had, like, a maracas. They had, like, maracas or some shit, like, pretending to be the snake. And I started freaking the fuck out. Um, and then, like, I, I, I have no clue how to get the fuck out of this room. And then Knox is like, this is the only way out. Like, he, well, they, he sort of, like, pretends to break character. Like, we need to get him out or whatever. He got bit. And then... I'm freaking the fuck out because I'm like, dude, I got bent. What the fuck is, like, what is going to happen? I'm going to die. Like, I'm not healthy. Like, I'm not healthy. Like, it's not going to, like, this is how I'm going to die or something. And then Knox is like, this is the only way to get out. And, like, pushes me through the door because I was, like, afraid to go in there. And there's just marbles and, like, pots and pans and shit everywhere. I slip my Where shoe. Were you the one who climbed over the counter? Yeah, yeah. There's, like, a thing, like, guard the camera people. And there's, like, all this stuff on it to make sure you wouldn't go there. Like, thumbtacks and mouse traps and shit. <laughs> and I thought that, that, like, because that stuff was on there, that was the way to go. And I just climbed over and fucking... <laughs> Yeah, I just caught myself up. <laughs> so if there was hell, that would be it, probably. Yeah, that felt like one of the levels of hell. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy, That's... dude. And, and you were in there with poopies. Yeah, I was in there with poopies. How, how uh, often are you in contact with poopies these days? Um, Not a lot. We were talking about maybe making some YouTube stuff like a few weeks ago. But I haven't talked to him since. Yeah. Um, Definitely would like to do that. That would be fun. Yeah. I think uh, I would I would be careful about um, having like a sober crew with you. Yeah, yeah. If you're gonna. Yeah. Yeah, I think every, no matter what you're doing, it's either protecting your sobriety or it's yeah. endangering your sobriety. Yeah. And hanging out with poopies, I think, might endanger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh. That's yeah. Funny. Not to th I, I, we can cut it out later, but uh, hearing from Bam, is he okay? Is he in the hospital still? Do you want? He's to out of the hospital. He's out of the hospital. That's good. And uh, yeah, he just tells me it was not. I actually have a text that I haven't read yet. Should I, should I see what? Uh, what? what yeah, because that that I mean to be put he on says, a ventilator. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe... I, I told him uh, everyone was worried as fuck about you. You okay now? And he wrote, I can't believe I'm out and better. I was a dead man on Elvis' birthday. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> well, like, I didn't even think about the Elvis thing. Why? What's uh... No, I was just... just I didn't think <laughs> it was Elvis. I don't Elvis think anybody thought no, about I the Elvis No, I never thought thing. of that. I, I wouldn't even know what Elvis's birthday I is. I still don't know what it means. <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, that's good. Like, he's, he's better. <clears throat> like, I mean, fuck, dude. What, yeah, so I what... mean, dude. Like, like, I, I shouldn't say this, but but I was like... <laughs> but maybe you fucking, shouldn't. I was, I was like, fuck, Bam, if... if, if don't fucking die and screw up my tour. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's pretty good. 
you, so you're doing stand up. We'll change the subject. You're doing stand up tonight. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing stand up tonight. <laughs> Are you nervous? Um, I always get a little nervous, but it's always it's always fun to get up there when it starts. You know, you start doing it. How much time you got in you? Um, I don't know. I probably I should probably just do like ten minutes or something just to start it off. I think uh, ten ten is good. Yeah. Um, are you still doing your better help joke? Yes, I am. Kills I love, always. I love that joke. <laughs> yeah. Did, did you did you hear? I forget what podcast it was, but I was giving you praise for that. Oh joke. no, I didn't. That's I sick. Bet, I think it might have been the Ari Shafir podcast. I don't know, <laughs> but or, or, I don't know. Maybe it was one of the jackass guys. But uh, yeah, that joke is great. Uh, yeah, I love that one. It's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to give a uh, special shout out to Howie Mandel and apologize for not calling him back? Um, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I thought that was funny. Why? But you were supposed to call Howie Mandel. No, he back. like I did his podcast, and then like it was just like I ended up walking out. Like I was like gonna leave. I don't know if you remember when he, because he pranked me or whatever. And then uh, I was on his yeah. podcast, and and I pranked you. Yeah, yeah, you pranked me on there, and then that was like <laughs> the first thing where I was like, God damn it! Like I fucking like I was like I hate Howie right now. <laughs> And then he had me on his podcast, and then Knoxville calls in and does, like, a similar, like, thing and, like, gets mad at me for being... Oh, like, yeah? And then I, like, freaked the fuck out, and I was like, dude, I'm going... I was like, I'm out of here. I'm fucking done. And I just walked out of the podcast, and then they, like, coerced me to come back in, and I finished the podcast. We didn't but have to. I didn't have you, to, you're but, just, like... You, you, you can't. Well, Rachel is my ride, and we are on the podcast together, so I sort of had to go back in. <laughs> was, was Rachel in on it too? No. Well, she like Knoxville called and said like we didn't get it cleared with Paramount to go on there and promote the movie, which I didn't actually even think about being a thing. But Rachel had already done that, but I had not. Um, and and then they turned it into this whole like thing, like it was like a way bigger deal than it was. So you fell for the same fucking shit I pulled on <laughs> yeah, you again. again? Yeah, yeah. It was just another <laughs> Paramount thing. Were you loaded? No, I was not. I was I was sober. <laughs> Uh, all right. So, uh, so, so you're gonna crush it tonight doing stand up. Yes, I hope. And then, do you have any dates coming up after this? Um, I'm doing a show with Rachel and Matt on Sunday, and in LA. And then I think I I'm doing one in Huntington Beach in January. And then like there's probably gonna be a bunch more. That stuff just randomly happens, you know. Right. Cool. Um. And let's talk about your uh, your YouTube and, and stuff. Um, you've had your channel like deleted by YouTube because you put such gnarly stuff on there. Yeah, yeah, but that's how it was initially. Um, I had, you know, I was just posting like really gnarly stuff and some like because I wasn't there was like no comedy like based around it at all. It was just gnarly <coughs> shit and like it just it was just literally just dangerous activities, which is like against YouTube policy. So, uh, yeah, I ended up getting terminated, like, a while back, and then... And then, but, but then I built a channel for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, and, and I, I have that one still. I've not been posting at all really recently. I was posting Vinny and I's podcast on there, though, and we're going to start that back up in January, and then I, I have some idea, like... We we talked before about video ideas for me, like different things. Dude, yeah, I've, I got you to pull out your notepad. We came up with yeah, a yeah. bunch of killer yeah. ideas, and you haven't made a single goddamn one of them. I mean, I filmed the the top like the top like five or top ten like worst injury thing. Um, I just never put it up. That, that's probably gonna run into problems. With yeah, that, it definitely yeah. is. That was the one reason I didn't want to like put it I up. I filmed the one thing that, that I can't post. <laughs> <laughs> now we made a good list for you. Yeah. What is your top? Well, I, I don't want to ruin it. Like, because, dude, can you yell at Zach about uh, yell at his Zach. website? <laughs> no, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna take dude. care. Of it. Dude, yeah, I'm gonna take it. We're, you called me with him on the phone, and I was like, Zach. I have your website. You remember? All you had to do is click accept. <laughs> yeah. That's all you had to do was just go, it was built. We built yeah. your website. I know. Um, <laughs> here's the thing. Yeah, no, I don't know. Dude. Dude, I was like, at that time, I was like freaking out about, like, I mean, I wasn't really freaking out, but I was like, 
I was just like not wanting, like I don't know, I didn't want to do like sun stuff as much, and I was like, what does that, that do with the website? Well, I mean, it does. It does. That's I mean, me, that's what the website is. We what? were t- we were telling you, Zach, we're yeah. like you're a principal cast member in a major theatrical yeah, yeah. movie release from yeah. Paramount Pictures, and it's time to get organized to yeah. take advantage of the opportunity that this is going to represent for you. And, yeah. the, and for this movie to come out and you to not have a website would be blow. You'd be blowing it. You'd be yeah. going, gotta, you got to be ready. <laughs> Before the movie comes out, you got to be ready. Have your website. You should have some merch ready to go. You should be like, have a bunch of content lined up to just pop, 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 pop. Yeah. To keep the momentum going, we and, and we got you covered, Zach. We got you a website. We bought you zachass.com. Mm-hmm. Like we built it for you. We're ready to hand over the reins to you. All you gotta do is click accept. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And and, and 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 now the movie came out a year ago. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. Zach says, "Dude, I'm gonna take care of it. <laughs> Dude, I'm totally gonna do. It. I'm gonna be on it. I'm, I'm well, all you, over you that. You have it, and all you gotta do is click accept. Yeah, we can get that taken care of. And then if you go, if you and Vinny are doing a uh, podcast in January, yeah, you can house everything there and. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that it's 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 tough. Like when when we started with the podcast, we were really careful to keep the podcast on a different channel mm-hmm. than the main channel content because I think that the algorithm really views like long ass podcast where maybe retention falls off. Like mm-hmm. we wanted to keep like the keep it separate, mm-hmm. and I think that it's possible that you did a disservice to the YouTube channel by putting the podcast on your main YouTube mm-hmm. channel. That doesn't mean that that uh, that it's a wrap, no big deal, mm-hmm. but every one of those ideas that, that you mm-hmm. and I put on your, your path, yeah. Yeah, I mean, th- those, will, those will all perform really well. Yeah, I know they will. Yeah. They definitely will. Yeah, and, um, and, and it's only been... Like a year and a half since we did that. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 what's what's the problem though? Like get, finding an editor to edit the videos no, for I can you, edit. or I, but I, you know, I don't think you want to. I mean, like, I, if you're the I entertainer, you, you want to like I not edit. I will. Like, <laughs> well, I believe I'm you. literally fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I believe. Yeah. I, I believe that no, you, you will. No, at the time though, I was not motivated to fucking do anything when when all that stuff was going on. Like I literally wasn't. Like when, when all what stuff was going like, on. Like with like no, like having <laughs> like when you guys are giving me the website and all that stuff. I wasn't doing anything, and I wasn't like I was not like in the mental headspace to even make content. Didn't we time. get? Didn't we like get designs <laughs> made for him for merch too? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, we did everything for you. I know. <laughs> no, I mean that just goes to show. But I, but I think like you know, just in general, when it, like for for filming your own stuff, like I don't even think I think you should just focus on filming and 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 sourcing yeah. out the editing. Just that way, it's like it's done for you. And I think what most people get lost in the weeds about right. is like. It's like having, you know, it's it's when a CEO takes over a business and he's doing everything. It's like, I think you're in a place to where you can have an editor do this. You can have a filmer. You don't need to be all well, three. Right. Mm. I, I think that, that what it is as well is that it's just daunting when it's on you to, to film it, to, to write it, to edit it. Like, it's just such a mountain of work where if you find the right editor, then that person can... <laughs> help facilitate the filming and the mm. and, and everything and, and just make it easier it's kind of like uh like with, with with my with my girl you know i um you know before i met my girl and i was just running around like being distracted and you know like wasting all this time chasing chicks around mm-hmm. there was a nightmare and then like by stopping chasing chicks around and then i find a girl who actually helps me accomplish stuff come on mm-hmm you know in in this case skinny vinny could be your girl <laughs> skinny vinny is uh vinny is a Vinny's godsend up dude did vinny get over here and steal this mic like uh vinny is uh you guys what's up dudes yeah have a seat if you can you fit next to zach yeah there you go dude yeah. now t- tell us your relationship with zach and and how it started so we met what five years ago now yeah in sober living yeah. Yeah. yeah, I recognized who he was um, from the cactus video. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you asked me to be your filmer. 
Yeah. And I started filming for him for about a year. Yep. And then uh, it was just like one thing after another. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <coughs> what? Uh, you know, you know what I want to do? <clears throat> Can we bring in uh, an, another mic for Vinny? Yeah. I'm stoked to have Vin- Vinny on here. Well, can we talk about what we're doing while they're setting up, or do you want to just cut it? I think How are we going to explain? Oh, I guess we've already brought Vinny on. We brought Vinny on. We well, brought uh, Vinny on. He's already done enough, as it is. I love Vinny. <laughs> just, just giving Zach a, a, a fucking a, a heart. It's pretty funny, though. Like, no, uh, no. all you had to do is click accept. <laughs> Yeah, no. He's like, I know. <laughs> too much. I literally know. Dude, I was on ass for so long about that. No, no, no. Here's the thing, because I remember Steve, you called me up with him on speakerphone. You're like, Hey, dude, can we build Vinny a website for the for the movie? I'm like, Steve, the website's already built. <laughs> it's done. <clears throat> I've been trying to get you to tra- I've been trying to get you to like transfer ownership over it, and then you're like, I know, but. Here we are now. It's good though, because uh, yeah, I, mean, I think you can man. still do it. Yeah, <laughs> it's still you, there. You can totally you still can do it, dude. And it's been fine to talk about all this stuff just because it's not like on a timeline, mm-hmm. right? Like, yeah, yeah. That's true. yeah. Is there anything that you're tripping out about, or are you good? No, mm, good. it's all good. All right, so so where where were you? So we met almost five years ago. Right, right. And then you started filming for him. Yeah, I started filming for him. And uh, the first video was the uh, the boxing glove bit. Yeah, the we, RC we car attached a, a boxing glove to an RC car. <clears throat> it was like drove, one of those to go like, like 50 hours. miles per hour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One of those ones. <laughs> and we went to Venice Beach, and uh, the video did really well. And that was the first video I filmed for him. And I used to film videos back in the day. And you used to do Andy Roy's podcast. Yep, Rip Ride. Yep. You were like set up kind of in a behind the camera like producer capacity mm-hmm. editing producing and yep. only with Zach did you get in front of the camera. Yeah. The first time I got in front of the camera he pranked me and uh, he like did an antique on me and then we went to bams for that party and i got recognized from that one video and i was like "Ooh, that felt really good right so that's when i wanted to start making my own content right and i bring this up because when you started getting in front of the camera then you and zach together made this this uh, fail army show mm-hmm. and then you started doing the podcast together yep like you're you're a kid in a candy store you love everything about it. every second of it yeah yep. And then Zach relapses, and then you're you're in this posi- then you're in this position where everything that you're really jazzed about is a hundred percent hitched to yeah. Zach, and so you're in this like this crazy situation where you want to keep doing the in front of the camera stuff, mm-hmm. but like you can't you can't for sure. And when you told me after we had that intervention with them. You're like, dude, you got to stop filming with him. No more show, no more podcast. I was fucking pissed when you told me that. Because I was like... Pissed or bummed? Bummed. Super bummed. Pissed at Steve? No, not... Well, I, I, mean, I, I, I can see that. Yeah, because so there, was, there was a little resentment towards Steve. You normally Steve. get pissed when somebody tells the truth, you know? It's For like, sure. fuck. And it made sense, but like, at first I was bummed because I was like, oh, dude, it's so easy for you to say that. Right. Like, just say no to a second season, a decent right. paycheck, right. you know? And then I talked to you about it, and I was like, fuck, dude, what do I do? And then when we had that conversation at the warehouse, it just made sense. You know what I mean? And I was bummed, but it was like, I have to, you know? Right. And uh, so... The- well, th- there was a point when... I-, I forget which one of you guys posted it, but there was some podcast <laughs> clip, yeah. and Zach was so loaded on it, and it was yeah. just like... And, 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 and I was like, hey, yo, dude, like, what's up with this, mm-hmm. dude? Like... And, and, and then, you texted me right away. Yeah, I yeah. texted you right away. And, and Vinny says, oh, dude, yeah, man, like, Zach was loaded, man. We didn't put up that whole podcast. 
You know, I'm like, but what about this one clip? Was okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The funny thing was, dude, I, I like, I just had a feeling you were gonna text me too, and I was like, and and I was thinking about taking it down, and then you just beat me to the punch and texted me, and I was like, fuck it, I deleted it, it was, right away. It was really it was gnarly. upsetting. Yeah, it, it was, was gnarly. Do you know what he's talking about, Zach? No, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Many, it could have been so many yeah. instances. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Well, were you high on most of the uh, podcasts? I mean, after a while, yeah. Yeah. How many podcasts did you guys do? We had 25 episodes. And you were high of 24 of them? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. See, I, I, it was like after the 10th episode is when I started realizing, okay. But it was more of me like giving him the benefit of the doubt. Like, sure. I mean, dude, it's crazy how us addicts are yeah. the easiest fuckers to fool half yeah. the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and uh, and then I even think I brought it up to you once, and brought it up to you once, and right. I'm like, dude, I think Zach's getting loaded. Why? Like, what, what what made you think that? Just uh, like everything just starts you going saw down. Take a handful of pills. Like, <laughs> 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 no, everything. It's be, like I've known Zach for like since the sober living days, where he right. was struggling in the house a little bit, and then I knew him when he was got sober and was doing great, and then I start to see shit decline, like personal hygiene, fucking the like just every single habit. Right. And but here I go again, just like just <laughs> here I go again, just like giving him the benefit face. of the doubt. Right. And when that <laughs> one particularly disturbing clip went on your Instagram, that was before I was like, Hey man, you can't fuck with Zach. That was before, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. like to put into perspective, like what you had become okay with was just not okay, you know? For sure. Yeah. And and, and I understand completely that you could be resentful and be like, Yeah, hey man, it's easy for you to say that. Yeah. But dude, I was I was upset, dude. I, like I was upset for a few reasons. One, obviously because my best bro is like fuck like he's going downhill again, you know, and like I'm just like in the middle of it and I'm seeing everything just fucking crash and like everything that we're doing is just like declining and and then you're telling me, dude, you gotta fucking cut it out, and you know you can't fucking film with them anymore because you're enabling them. Sure. And like, it that makes total sense now in hindsight, but in the moment, I was just right. fucking. Well, it's crazy because like the you know one of the principles that we follow is like just trust God in all your affairs, and so like when you cut when you cut that out and that that cut your finances significantly, right? And you were For like, sure. fuck, what do I do? But then wait, wait, <sighs> since. No, no, but but because that was like one of the biggest fears that you had. It was like, well, what, what am I gonna do for work? For sure. And then once you did do that, have you made more money without them or with? Uh, uh, I don't know that there was ever a lot of money coming in from the stuff that you were doing. No, with but his, his, his major fear butter. was like, fuck, my income is getting but, cut. No, but, but Vinny's bread and butter has always been behind the camera. I've made more money behind the camera than in front of the camera. With, without Zach. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, for, oh, okay. for sure. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Vinny's bread and butter. What Vinny's good at is working in a a production capacity. Yeah. A producer, like, and um, and dude, he, he he like he's such a valuable team member to us. Mm -hmm. And I got to tell you, man, it feels really good to have you on a mic on Thanks, the, on the podcast. Yeah. I'm stoked. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When when we had that conversation after he went into this sober living or the rehab, and you were like, "Dude, what do you want to do?" Yeah, he's. You're like, I know you got that show and you got that little tiny taste of fame. And if anybody's addicted to fame, it's me. But like, dude, you're valuable behind the camera. And I like thought about that for so long. And like, besides Zach, dude, we don't have many people to film with. You know, like close bros. Right. You know, so it's like. I went back to the production side of things and I've been fucking You've the past like great. six months have been killer yeah yeah and to be clear too I never said give up on your no, dream no oh for sure no. I said by all means pursue everything yeah. do everything yeah. but just recognize yep. like what, what, what it's gonna like what, what's gonna pay the bills yeah. you know like if you the more you can do behind the camera to get your bills paid then the more opportunity you have to pursue the ultimate dream mm -hmm. whatever you want that to be yeah and that's what I've been looking at I'm How never I've gonna tell at. anybody not to no you said it word fucking. for word you're like I will never tell you to stop chasing your dream you yeah, said that yeah for sure and, and dude and I, and I love it man and like it, it's just really really rad like how you've been solid in your program, you know, like Thanks, your re recovery, like, yeah, dude. I mean, you said it first, dude. It's like you have to put it first or else everything just shits the bed. And I totally, I totally recognize that. And if I lose that, I lose all this, 
you know, and that's sure, the last sure. thing that I want to fucking lose. You know, were you pissed at Vinny for for having the intervention on you? <laughs> Not really. I mean, I understood. Yeah, that was know. such a heavy day. Dude. Did you guys have a conversation about like, hey man, I I, I got to fucking not do season two of fail army i got we can't do the podcast anymore no it, it kind of fell fell through on its own um just like because zach spoke up and said hey i i i, mean, I want help well that that too yeah well but i mean also, that wasn't like, why we're not doing that like um i mean like fa- like that stuff just isn't happening yeah because it just a lot of things changed over a lot of things changed over there as a company yeah um but you know um that would probably still be on the table if that stuff didn't happen yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, it, was, it was like the podcast and the show were like the only things that I had going on, you know. And then once the podcast was done, and even though the podcast wasn't doing great, and we were still so new for only having twenty five episodes, we were doing pretty good, you know. And uh, and like I just love the whole production and creativeness behind it, and sure. like podcasts are my thing. So it was like, what your head? What the hell was that? It was dope being able to to do that. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean the no, the TV good, was good. coming out. I didn't mean to cut you <laughs> off. So, you guys have the, the so the so it's safe to say that the podcast is going to come back in January. Yeah, we think so. Yeah. Did you guys have uh, Chris Markovich on? We did. Yeah. How was that? It was rad, dude. Yeah, I grew up watching him skate, so dude. it was super rad. We had him on Rip Ride back in, a couple years right, ago. Right, so, right, right. Yeah. Man, you, Chris you, Markovich was a hero to me, dude. Yeah. You guys still keep in touch with Andy? Nah, he unfollowed me for some reason. What? Yeah. Andy I think Roy? Be, I think it's because I'm still homies with Priya. I think ah, I think okay. that's why. Yeah. Well. That's well. what happens. <laughs> yeah. All right, I man. Guess, well, dude. so so you guys uh the Vinny's killing it. Zach's fucking fired up and ready to go. He's gonna click accept any month now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean yeah, dude, yeah. You, yeah. You got a good guy here to help you fucking get shit popping, dude. You guys make a great team. Yeah, it's uh, it's hard to get him. When he was going through all that shit, it was like tough being able to be like, all right, dude, this is the shit that you need to do. Like, I'm right. here. Like, I have all this equipment in our fucking office. Like, I'll edit, I'll do everything. But it was just, it was just hard because he was just going through shit. And but now he's a new man. Look yeah. at him. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll get he's him ready to accept. fucking go. Yeah. Are you gonna Are you gonna revamp the uh, the firecracker vest? Now, nah, dude, how nah. badly injured did you? Uh, it was like second and third degree burns. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to do that again. You're not going to do boxer I, there's shorts? There's like no reason for me to do that unless like I was getting like, and there's like the risk and reward isn't like enough for me to do that on my own accord, you know? Yeah. Um, What's like your... if I was getting paid, like a lot of money, I would do it again. Really? But not right. I wouldn't H- do that. How much would you do it for right now? If I gave uh, you 10 grand, would you do it? Mm, I don't know about 10 grand. 20? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's your what's your specialty? Because like Steve's is like jumping off of heights in the shallow pools. Knoxville's is bowls. Yours would be. Um, I don't. I don't know. I think it's just funny seeing me try anything that a, a bigger person wouldn't do. That's cool. You know. So there's a lot of like fit into a wetsuit that you guys have. You've lost know. a bunch of weight. Yeah, yeah, I have. How much weight have you lost? Um. Like a hundred pounds since wow. since the movie. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I remember like through the course of the movie, like you got bigger and bigger yeah, and bigger, yeah. and it was like, it was alarming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially <laughs> like considering like being that big and and you're just like, oh yeah, dude, like that was cocaine and downers. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just Speedball City at like yeah. fucking four hundred pounds. Yeah. No, it was like four sixty. <laughs> Actually, 460? Yeah, that's what 460. it was Jesus. Yeah. You were speedballing your ass off at 460 Yeah, that's pounds. like, if you're, like, you have to choose one, like drugs or being fat. <laughs> yeah. You can't choose both, you know? Wow. <laughs> and so you've been working out and you're, you're, yeah, yeah. you're slimming down? Yeah, I mean, there's still a lot more work to do, obviously, but, you know, uh, I'm definitely eating healthier and working out. Yeah. Cool. Dude, when you were in that sober living way back in the day when we first moved you out here, yeah, like when you put him in the wetsuit in the did the well, workout right, video, but but uh, but <laughs> but it did, there was like, okay, Zach, dude, you're gonna be like, you know, in a food program and stuff, and and they were like, dude, yo, Zach's bedroom 
It's just a mountain of candy wrappers. <laughs> like, it, was, yeah. it was a mountain of candy wrappers. What's your go-to candy? Um, I don't... Um, like like I, Reese's Cups, probably? Or yeah. Like, or Steve, what? that's yours, too, Reese's. Oh, my God, yeah. dude. And, 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 by the way, I'm off the rails again. Yeah. Off the rails. Off the rails. <laughs> the rails. Why? Like what are you rails, eating? Dude. I've been pretty gnarly, dude. Like, uh... Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, food's the toughest one, man. Yeah, food, food. I mean you have to eat, so you yeah, know? Like, yeah. But yeah, it's just like picking the right things. Right. It's so crazy, man. Like I'll be, I'm a pendulum with my food, man. It's gnarly. But dude, I, we, I came in here, you had your shirt off, and I'm like, but how are you still ripped? Like, you're still skinny, dude. I don't get it. I, I don't know about ripped. But, and I only just, like, uh, went out. <laughs> the, right. the, you know, like, I'm only, I'm only like, uh, a couple weeks into the only thing I can think about is how you've always maintained being so skinny is that that trial drugs they did on you to like keep pigs lean muscle <laughs> like, <laughs> what? like that, that's got to be the reason why you're so lean because I've seen you eat and it's like I've never seen anything like it before when you're eating it's like you're having three brownies with ice cream and you're fucking eating a whole pizza it's like I can eat the same thing gain 50 pounds you just stay thin and I think that medical I'm Shit that you experimented with worked. When I was 19 years old, I did an experimental medical study for yeah. uh, drugs for pigs and cows. That's uh, um, and the purpose was to like make pigs lean, yeah, like yeah. lean muscle. All right, here let let's you get back on track it. here and let's come come up with a game plan. Let's click accept. Let's get you your website going. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, if you see Zach on the street, you're going to ask him if he has his website. He's going to say, hell yeah, I do. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, well, dude, I love you. I'm glad you're in a good place. Yeah. How, how's Instagram? Is it you're um, still, still cranking on there? Weird. Yeah, I mean. Zach has an Instagram. We, we got you that, too. Yeah. What the fuck was your stupid Instagram handle before I got an Instagram It was like TSTD it was Trill. Like, it was like Trill, like TSTD or something. Underscore, like yeah, yeah, three, yeah. four, eight, hyphen. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> something like stupid shit. <laughs> But yeah, Instagram's cool. Um, it's been, it's going well. I need I, I need to keep posting more. But like you can, it's kind of cool. You can make money from uh, reels now, which is pretty sick. And you can like, like it it's pretty good. So I definitely need to do that. Cool man. Take advantage of. I don't think stuff. I make money off reels on Instagram. But yeah, you can like. There's like a. You have there's to, a couple different. Well, there's a couple oh, different yeah. ways to monetize on Instagram now, and it's like I'm definitely taking advantage of that now. Good. <laughs> yeah. Good. I know I'm, Vinny's down, to, uh, dying to plug his Instagram too. Where get, you get on oh, it, dude. dude? At Skinny Vinny. At Skinny Vinny, yeah, dude. That's it. Easy peasy. Yeah. Easy peasy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Vinny's a huge asset to the team, and uh, just stay lazy because we want to keep him to ourselves. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right, dude. I love you, Zach. Love you guys. Sweet. Sweet. Thanks. Love you, that was cool, dude. <laughs> yeah, that was good. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? Is Zach not the most endearing, lovable guy? I mean, come on. You know what you should do is check out his YouTube channel. We're going to link the YouTube channel. And Zach, you know what? While you're sleeping tonight on the bus, I'm not going to fucking jelly my dick into your face. That's for fucking... <laughs> Yeah, dude. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> 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 <laughs>